Welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a DIY for you today. We are going to make out of this pumpkin sign or to be more specific two of these pumpkin signs an Ohio State Buckeye. There we go. Maybe. There we go. Ohio State Buckeye Garland. Um, so like I said, I needed two of these, and this is all personal preference. You could do anything you want with them. This is what I'm choosing to do. So two of these are my materials, a glue gun, any kind of paint that you want. I've got some chalk paint here. I have some acrylic paints, any kind of paint you want. Paint, oops, paint brushes. I'm using paper clips twine, hot glue, did I say that? Yes. Paint brushes, containers, I needed to mix some gray. I am sealing mine and I'll show you why. And oh, and I also used a piece of carbon paper. You do not have to use carbon paper, I have it. Um, and it just makes life easier for me. Because I'm trying to do things that you don't need spe special utility, special utility, special tools for. Um, like a Cricut, for instance. I could cut all this out on my Cricut, but not everybody has one. I'm just putting the paper away because I already have created all of this. Um, I'm going to show you the steps, but um, I will say it takes time to dry. So you're going to want an afternoon or start it one day, do some steps, do, you know, stop, move on. Um, things just need to dry. That's really the extent of it. And you want them to dry completely before you move on to the next step. I'm just putting my carbon paper away. And just as for you know, just for you know, <laughs> just so you know, I ordered this on Amazon. It came with 30 sheets and it was like $6. And it came in this container, and I use it quite frequently when I'm painting. Um, a printer if you need it, or some type of logoed item for your team. I have some brown paper down just so I don't get paint, because I haven't put my Dollar Tree haul away yet. And that, I think, is everything. So I'll flip you around, and I will show you what I'm making, and then I'll take you on a tour of the finished product. All right, be right back. This is gonna be the most simple project ever because most of it is done for us, which is the beauty of Dollar Tree DIYs. Um, like I said, I needed some, I'm using this Minwax. I've had this forever. This little container was $10 at, I think Walmart or Home Depot, but it's fine. Um, I also didn't mention I used a marker pen. These are from Sharpie. This is a white one, and I'm not going to lie. It has yet to ever actually paint white, which is just bizarre to me. But it doesn't. It's, like, clear. I don't think I've ever seen, like, white paint come out of this thing, which bums me out. But I love these. These are great. Not that one. But these are great if you're doing signs and things because you can really just draw like a marker. It's not a regular Sharpie. These are their Sharpie paint pens. And I get these at Joanne. And I used a straight edge. So this is the steps that I took. I took my sign here, which I'm not going to rip apart because I might want to keep it. But on the back, I just pulled these off up here. And I'm pretty certain somewhere around here I have the other piece. Yes, I do. Okay. So like I said, I used two of these entire garlands. And I'm one, I have one extra pumpkin. But they literally, it's stapled on. You just pull it off. Throw that in the trash. Now, I'm not going to let these holes bother me. But if they bother you, you can paint this side, but you're going to have to scrape off this glitter. I just painted on this side. I honestly wanted this very rustic uh, to go with my farmhouse theme, so I was okay with it. So I took my pumpkin, and I painted it. I chose black and red, so I painted some black and red. Solid. Two coats of the red, one coat of the black. Let them dry in between. That's my base right there for the red ones. And then on these, my creepy Buckeye, 
I painted it like a Buckeye. So I have brown on the outside and this mushroomy color on the inside. And this is the face I used to uh, with the um, carbon paper. I printed it off the internet and just traced over Brutus. And that's my Buckeye. So I have two. Now, one step I want to show you why sealing is so important. You see Brutus here? He's sealed. And I hope you'll be able to see this guy. He is not sealed. His face to me looks messy. The edges aren't clean. It's not popping. So what I do, and I'm going to show you right on here. Take a little bit of sealant on this paintbrush that's going to go in the trash. And watch his face. I'm just going to do his face for you to see. It instantly makes things pop. So the paint that I used is chalk paint and it's matte. This finish is satin. So I'm getting the coverage and all the stuff out of the chalk paint that I want, but I don't want the flat. I like a better shine to it. So I just seal it up real quick. There we go, done. He'll sit here and he will dry. And I will put this away. I'm gonna bang a minute. You really want to not bang your finger, but you want the lid on so it doesn't dry up. Okay, so then, while that's drying on my, paper, on my little cloth, he's already done, so I have two of them. I drew, and I freehanded this, a, scar, a blocko for Ohio State. And I love this. On my pumpkin, so it's red and black with the blocko, and then I hand painted the inside gray. I did one coat of gray. Again, I want this to look kind of rustic. And then I sealed it. And then on the other two pumpkins, I just took my straight edge and drew lines to do like racing stripes or the stripes on a jersey to go on either side. You could glue those together, but I'm gonna hang these on a garland. So I painted, and then I took my paint pen, and all of this black is this paint pen. Isn't that awesome? They're about two or three dollars, but they're great. Let everybody dry, and the sealant dries pretty quickly, so that's good. We need more coffee. This is buttery caramel from Target. I love it. Now, to hang these, I could hot glue the string, I could um, staple it back on, but I want them to kind of hang freely. So what I've done is hot glued on the back a, a paper clip that I opened. So I took this paper clip, I opened it up, I decided that the fat end is going to be where I hang it from, and so I hot glued this to the surface with a big old blob of glue. Now, you could do E6000, but I wanted it to be dry. So I'm going to hang it on the twine right on this. Oops. I don't want to pierce it. There we go. So when it's hanging on my mantle, it's free. Um, what I may do is knot them once I pay, space them so they don't slide back and forth if I think I'm having too much play. You can just turn it around and tie a knot and it will keep it where it's at, but it still has plenty of movement and it's not stuck in some weird position that doesn't hang naturally on your garland. You can write something here I could write Go Bucks. I might write Go Bucks. We'll see. Um, and that's it. And then I took the pumpkin, or the pumpkins, the footballs, and I did nothing to them except for hang them on the back. Because I want, in between each, I want a pumpkin, a uh, pumpkin, a football to hang in between each. That is how easy this project is. Again, if you wanted to, you could sand down these staple marks, fill them in, paint over it then, but I just wanted it to be very, very rustic. So I will bring you downstairs. This is almost dry. This is in real time, and that's almost already dry. I'm gonna write Go Bucks. 
with my black pen on here. And then we're gonna go hang it on the mantle. And I will show you what it looks like. Oh guys, I love it. Even my creepy Brutus. Look at it. How exciting is that? It's fall, it's football, it's Buckeyes. Oh, so exciting. I hope you love it as much as I do. Um, all I did was lay the, t the rope down or the twine and I tied all the paper clips on and evenly spaced them. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed. Oh, and there's my Funko Pop of the Queen of England because, well, duh. Everybody should have a Funko Pop of the Queen. All right. Have a good one. Bye.